Look, if you're someone that likes to wear flannels while you conceal carry, you're gonna die. <laughs> okay, let me explain. Truth is, when you decide you're gonna conceal carry, understand you may not be able to wear the same clothes that you once did when you walked the streets like a normie, meaning without a gun clipped onto your belt. Surprise, there's gonna be certain clothes that you own that just wasn't designed with the thought of needing to be lifted in a way where you can draw a weapon from a holster. Now, most of your draws from appendix position should look something similar to this, Now, the speed at which you can draw your weapon and land first shots only matter if you can access your weapon without any delays, which with most regular tees, you should be able to accomplish just that. Where things tend to get a little bit more tricky though is when you start wearing things like flannels, Now, what you just saw right there is exactly what I'm talking about. There are certain flannels that we probably have in our wardrobe that we may be currently wearing on a daily basis when concealed carrying that could potentially be putting our life in danger by interfering with the ability to access our weapon. And just so you can have a better look at what I'm talking about, here's a couple of different angles. When I try to go and lift my shirt from the front, you can see how the tail of my flannel gets caught on my lower back, which is what's preventing me from lifting my shirt all the way up to get a proper opening and get to my weapon. Now, this can sometimes be fixed by undoing the last button which will allow the fabric to move more freely giving you the proper opening you need to access your weapon. Now if for some reason that doesn't work and you see that the problem is still continuing and you really want to wear a flannel, I recommend just trying different brands because when I was testing the flannels that I own, I found out that some work and others not so much. You could also try out snap button up ones which get rid of the problem completely by instead of lifting you just rip open the buttons to get to your weapon. Another thing to consider when wearing flannels is certain sleeves being a bit oversized to the point they go past your wrist which may not seem like a big deal if you were just a normal person wearing a flannel but you're not. You're carrying a firearm which this extra fabric on your wrist could get in the way of securing a proper grip and possibly affect things like your accuracy or control and recoil. Now this could easily be fixed by rolling up your sleeves or just wearing a different flannel with tighter fitting sleeves at the wrist area. Now the next item I want to talk about are hoodies because the moment you start stacking layers on top of each other you may start coming across certain issues like accidentally only grabbing the top layer and not both which are going to slow you down and stop you from having a clean draw. So what I started doing recently to stop this from happening is I started folding in my hoodie inwards making it easier to lift both layers at once. Now another clothing item I experienced giving me issues are windbreakers similar to what flannels we're doing with the whole tail getting caught on my lower back these are also doing the same thing now i found the same solution for hoodies can be applied here so all you have to do is just fold it inwards and you should be able to lift up and draw your weapon without any issues now one thing you need to understand is some clothing items are just not going to work for example i have this coat that because of the material and length even if i were to try to fold it inwards it just doesn't work like the hoodies or windbreakers that i have and it's not that i can't or that it's impossible to draw from I'm just personally not okay with the time it takes me to draw, which is cool. I don't really care as much since some of these I just keep for when I'm out here training and I can open carry. Now, a little bonus one to look out for, which isn't at all a clothing item, are keychains, which I've noticed depend on what exactly you have on them because for me, it's my custom key to my house and my car key that extend a bit out, which sometimes get caught onto my shirt and stop me from getting the opening that I need to get to my weapon. Now, a way that I found to stop this from happening is making sure that my shirt sits on top of my keys so nothing can get in the way or sometimes if I'm wearing something a little bit more loose, I just go back to putting them in my pocket. Now, before I close off this video, I just wanna make this clear that a lot of me discovering things like the keychain or which clothing items work well, which ones can be adjusted and which ones I should just avoid completely while carrying come from a place of experience and training with them. Now, I've been blessed to have the opportunity to come out here and train whenever I want and perform different drills with the clothing items I would typically wear on public. However, before I even decided to take them out here and train with live rounds, I always practice at home beforehand, which is what I highly recommend if you're not already, is making sure with an empty gun or one with dummy rounds, try a few different draws with the clothing items you plan to wear that day and see if there's anything that could possibly get in the way of you getting to your weapon before you decide to wear it out in public because the last thing you want to happen is you need access to your weapon and you're having a difficult time getting to it now i understand everyone's style is a little different and you may perhaps not wear things like flannels or carry a keychain but the message stays the same which is just to make sure you're wearing something that allows for a smooth and clean draw from whatever position you may be carrying in that's all i gotta say hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like and subscribe also if you want to check out my instagram ask shy the wicked i post shooting drills on there every week or if you just want to get in contact with me that's also a good place but other than that guys hope you guys have a weekend stay safe and god bless